Hello and welcome to Child Care Sears Parent Orientation Video Series. In this video we are going to go over the features of your desktop login, which many of them are similar to our mobile app. There are a few different variations or different places to find information using the desktop view. As you can see, we have our profile view here of all of your personal information, a summary of your child's profile, which will include the schedule summary, any outstanding tuition balance, access to your child's daily journal, the ability to send an absent note, as well as their birth date, and other, any other pertinent information. To edit or update your personal information, you will simply click here, access the field that you want to edit, and hit save. You have a finance section which will go over how to load your wallet, set up an automatic load, transfer money, and manage saved cards. As a disclosure, we do have a full video on all things about payments, including loading wallets and payment setup. So please make sure you check that video out for any other questions or information that you need pertaining to that. Our security section, which will reveal your kiosk pin. This pin is generated by our system for you specifically, so please do not share it with any other adults. As anyone that has a permission to pick up your child will have their own code generated for them to use for pickup and drop off. On your left side menu, you have um, the family tab, which will give you this display of anybody, any children related to you, as well as your own profile. The feed for all information sent to you throughout the day. You can adjust your feed settings by clicking on the feed settings button and adjust the notifications that you want by simply toggling them on or off. When you are done, hit OK, and your feed settings will be updated. The Money tab is where you can see all of your payments, your wallet, transactions, any automatic payments, and your payment methods on file. Again, we have a whole video dedicated to this, so please jump on over to that video after this one to check out those features and learn how to use them. You can also, from this page, um, export a report of all payments made. Select the manner in which you want to receive that report. It will download for you and you are able to attach it and email off for reimbursement or print for your records. You can also generate a tax report for the previous year's tax statement. Documents, you can upload documents for yourself and or for your children. Simply click on upload document Browse your computer or laptop for the file you want to upload. Select an expiration date if it has one. And then who this report will be going to. And hit save. Once you do that, the document will appear in either your child or your tab. Calendar is where you can create a visit request if your center allows for dropping care hourly visits and they have this feature available for you you can request a visit for your child so to do that simply click on the child that you would like to have the visit for select the date select the start time and the end time If there are add-ons available for your child, you can select those that you want here. So for demonstration, we'll just select diapers. It'll give you a summary at the bottom that you are requesting a one hour visit. And simply hit request. This request will go to your center's director and upon approval, you will receive a notification that it has been approved. And if it has been denied for any reason, you will also receive a notification for that. 
The menu will show you the options available for that day or week. Your center information, which will be your center's address, contact information, email, the operating hours, and also any closing dates for the year. And then in your settings tab, you can click on the option you want for notifications as well as for emails. To get back to your main profile, hit family. If you would like to send a message to the staff, you use the message center button. You can send it to the center in general, teachers, or send an absent note. You may also check your messages right here. Well, it has messages that you have received from the center pertaining your children. To make a payment on your account, you can click on the bright pink box that shows unpaid tuition amounts. Select where you want to make the payment. So we are going to pay this one late pickup fee. We're going to select the method in which we want to make that payment, which is our card that is stored on file. And as you can see, only the last four digits show and the expiration date. We're going to select pay. And as that is processing, it will automatically update your child's tuition balance to reflect the lower amount. If at any time you have questions or need additional assistance, our help button will get you to our customer success team. You can type in the message that you have here or the help request. Contact the method in which you want to be contacted and hit send. Please join us in our other videos for parent orientation. We thank you for being part of the Child Care Sir family and we'll see you in the next video.